What's up, everyone, and welcome to the first episode here at, um, on the podcast. Um, I'm Quentin Murphy, and today's guest, um, she is an amazing artist out of Huntington, West Virginia. Um, she has been viral multiple times this year, along with accumulating over 100,000 Facebook followers um, as a photographer. So without further ado, is uh, Autumn Collette Photography. Welcome in. Hello. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I think this is going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, so. So I'm just kind of like, um, I'm just like rolling with the punches. Yeah. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while now and just kind of get a lot of creatives together and talk art, talk photography, video, and don't look at each other as like a competition. Absolutely. More along the line of just uh, we can learn from each other. Because um, what you shoot is stuff that, I mean, I have no no intention on shooting and stuff, but I can still learn from you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, but we've known each other for like, it's probably been like over a year now, but we've been following each other for a long time yeah. and stuff. Um, I think it was, you shot, um, it was a buddy of mine from high school and then that's how I followed you. You shot his family and did like family photos oh, and stuff. Okay, um, cool. And um, I saw you down at Marshall on, on the campus and you was doing a graduation and I came up to you and I was like, um, you're Autumn, right? And you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super nice, super bubbly and stuff. And then um, it was kind of like from there on, we just kind of connected and stuff. But, um, but yeah, so you've recently have been getting a lot of love on your stranger sessions and everything like that. You want to talk a little bit about how that process, there's, there's almost like, because I'm deep in the comments all the time mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I actually participated in one of them as well. So um, it's a whole different experience. And I, won't, I don't want to say like a cult following, but there's definitely fans, yeah. fans of it. So Yeah, it's, it's very fun. Um, I enjoy it a lot. Um, it's a process. It's a very tedious process. It takes a lot of work. Um, there are times where I pretty much am on my laptop every evening filtering through applications, trying to make matches, trying to set up a match once I have a match, uh, contacting the people. Um, gosh, there's so much that I could mm. list. Uh, styling them, figuring out, you know, I like to make each session different, so trying to figure out a theme for the session. Um, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of work that people, you know, they don't see. Uh, looking at my page but i do it for those people um for the people that participate and for the people that follow me um, they have shown me so much love and supported me so much that it keeps me going um yeah, yeah. you know even when it is a lot of work i think uh what it was a cool experience so we did one in huntington around christmas time mm -hmm. and we posted a photo of hey just kind of like a pre um you know like get ready to stay tuned type deal and a girl commented and was like in the area and decided to come down and actually yes. like I that was the first time I was like oh like she she's the real deal you know like she's <laughs> this is her and stuff yeah. and uh that girl came down and she watched it from a car and she was like she thought she was like watching like a a live taping of yeah. like the bachelor yeah 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 so I, I just think that's uh because I don't see myself ever doing anything like that. But when you see the results of it, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I like meeting new people. I know, like, for me, it's because, like, I'm 30, and I feel like in the creative mindset and a lot of people around us and stuff, it's hard to make friends. And yes. it's hard to make, like, people you can relate to that is um, – and surround yourself with, like, people that, like – like-minded and like career goals and stuff and um so that's the reason why like i did your stranger session because i was like oh i just want to help her out it would get me out of my comfort zone and um the guy that we actually met and stuff super cool dude we went out later uh with his wife and my wife went out uh, with us as well and we got pizza and we connected and we was like very similar so like and we still talk to this day like um yeah. It's just like he just hit us up like a couple days ago asking for advice on like a session that he wants to do at the Capitol. So, I mean, um, that's why like I wanted to get out of it. So yeah. um, and just just to clarify for everybody, his was a um, best friend. Yeah, it was a best friend. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's interesting, too, because we did it and we well, we've done a couple like friend ones as behind the scenes and stuff yeah. as well. And they never 
Um, ours went well, but maybe because it was guys. I, I, I don't know. It was, I don't know. They also said we looked like, which I don't think we looked alike at all. Like I had red hair and he has like dark hair, like like black hair. Like I don't I don't know where, it, but that everyone in the comment was like, oh yeah, they oh, look yeah. like brothers. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. um, so that, but it was fun though. It was, uh, and we it only took like fifteen minutes, but um, I think it's like the older we get, we just gotta like put ourselves in situations like that and just try it and it's just fun no one's like and that's really one thing great about what i like when you do it you never pressure anybody yeah. and so if you yeah. just um, you do a really good job at like um telling the models uh that they this their shoot in a sense so like you just, we just follow their lead and we just kind of like polish things when needed absolutely at the at the end of the day these are strangers these are complete strangers and so I always tell people you know I might ask you to kiss her on the cheek or I might ask you know him to kiss you on the forehead if you are not comfortable with that you can say no you can say I'm not quite ready for that yet or I'm not comfortable with that because you know at the end of the day these are strangers so I'm never going to force someone to to do something or to be in a situation that they're not comfortable with um because uh, that's not what this is about you know um so that's something that's important is making sure that everybody's comfortable everybody's on the same page and and I talk to both participants before we start and say hey this is what's going to happen um, so if at any time you don't want to do it or, you know, don't be offended if your part, if your match says that mm -hmm. they don't want to do it because at the end of the day, we are strangers, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And I, I, it's also like our society, we, we, we deal with rejection every single day right. too. So it's almost like when you put yourself into a situation like that, you know, is it going to be like hyper-focused throughout like every new experience you do if, it, if someone rejects one time, you know what I mean? So it's... It, I could definitely see it on both sides. My biggest thing when I was doing my session was I was like, well, uh, you know, like it doesn't like hurt because I like, I, it's not like I don't have friends, but it's just like, I'm just doing it just to kind of do it and right. stuff. Like yeah. it's just, just put yourself out yeah, there just, and to have an yeah. experience. Yeah. Uh, my wife though, she thought, she thought it was hilarious. Uh, Cause we didn't have blindfolds and we had a cat one and a Barbie, like, pink one, and I was just like, this is, this guy's going to think I'm insane, like, showing up to this and stuff, but, but you supply, like, blindfolds, you supply yeah. uh, them with all the resources to, like, kind of feel as comfortable as right. possible, and I think that's, like, a really cool thing. Um, I haven't been on any of your other shoots, I don't think, is there, they've all been Stranger Sessions, mm -hmm. But you've back in the day, you also shot weddings yeah. as well. And you've shot uh, families. You've shot um, seniors. You do a lot of seniors, yeah. uh, college graduates as well. So you kind of like have experience. Is there any of these that's been like your absolute like favorite one? Uh, I love seniors. And the reason why I love shooting seniors is because I was a high school teacher okay. and so I feel like I can relate to them and I feel like I'm able to kind of break barriers um, because I know how to reach these kids yeah. and so it's fun for me and I love to see a breakthrough especially with the high school boys because they don't want to be there yeah. they are there because mom signed them yep. up to be there yep. and they're appeasing mom and so that's why they're there and so I always try to make it as fun for them and as as chill for them as yeah. possible and so when I see that breakthrough and they start to actually get into the posing and I'll show them their pictures and you know they're like yeah I'm gonna post that to, to the gram I'm like we did it you know yeah, what I mean yeah. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at mom and I'm like mom we did it um so seniors honestly aside from stranger sessions is like my bread and butter yeah. like that's my favorite thing I love it I also love you know college graduates as well um, those are still fun for me, especially if they're at Marshall because yeah. it's my alumni. Um, but high school seniors are definitely my favorite. Yeah, I like college a lot. Um, that's um, why I like them is more of they are like I was a first generation student. Mm -hmm. And so like that's you was talking about relating. Like I feel like I can relate to them. Like right. and they're always um, very chill. They pop a couple bottles mm -hmm. and then they're done. So yeah. you get some good golden hour stuff. You're done within like 30 minutes, 45 minutes sometimes. And it's never stressful. I've never had a college session that's been stressful. Yep, um, and that's any college that I've shot. I've shot a lot at Marshall just because of the location. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just, it's a good time to celebrate them too. And yes. um, I started more into like the portrait 
mindset. But then I've started to get into a lot of engagement couples and, and weddings and stuff. And I like weddings um, when um, everything clicks. And yeah. it's a very stressful day. It is a very stressful day. <laughs> so I try to come in and I try to like bring good vibes from the very beginning. And as long as you come in with a smile on your face and good vibes, like it's, it's the people feed off of it yes. and stuff they do. And then realize, Oh, well this is one less thing I got to worry about and stuff. Exactly. Um, and I, I know that there's been multiple weddings I've come home from and I'm just like, Oh, that was a, like genuinely happy moments and yeah. stuff. And I'm just yeah. like, cool. Um, there's this one wedding I shot two years ago. I've, I've done their, um, I did their engagement, their wedding. Um, and I did their maternity photos and I'm about to do their one year, like uh family photos oh, too that's awesome. so like seeing that whole entire progression of like their like it's so cool to document that mm-hmm. um and i never get up, upset or anything like if they choose a uh, like a different photographer i'm just like um i just I, I actually it doesn't bother me too much on it it is more along the lines of um i'm just happy for them I right think, at the time. and it's just cool for the ones that you do get to do all that for like it you know if they don't choose you again it i'm the same way it does not hurt my feelings it never hurts my feelings when someone goes with, with another yeah. photographer ever but the ones that do choose you for for me it's kind of different because i no longer shoot weddings but mm-hmm. if someone comes to me and they want to do a maternity session and then they want me to do their like in-home newborn and then the baby turns one and we do the one-year pictures right. that to me i'm I, i'm so honored every time it, it's like special yeah. to get to document those big moments you know over and I try to like even one thing that's helped me too is just keeping a uh, a list of like references that you can like refer to because a lot of people they're really surprised when you recommend other photographers to yeah. them like they they sometimes they're not even prepared like sometimes if I'm booked for a wedding I always try to like be like oh well actually here's like five six other people that I recommend in this area same price range and so forth and then they're just like oh wow thank you so much. Yeah. What people don't know is like that could help you in the future. They still might love your work, and just because it didn't work out the first time, they'll book you another time. You know, so it's just um, um, you want them to get good quality because the majority of pictures being taken is special moments, and you want to make sure that exactly you don't miss those. Right. And stuff. Um, but um, so when did you? get into photography like we kind of like just talk about like some yeah. of the recent stuff but so like. covid was rough on me um because i've always been the type of person that's like on the go 24 7. and so when covid hit i was a high school teacher and after school i did tutoring i did homebound i coached high school soccer i've always had something to do so when covid hit i was miserable it was not fun for me And I had always wanted to get into photography and I took that as a sign that I needed to go ahead and learn Mm -hmm. and take the time, take all that downtime to start learning. Um, And so I would watch YouTube videos. Um, A friend of mine was very, very good at photography and and she helped me a lot um, with what camera to purchase and all of that. Um, And so I just kind of dove right in. Mm -hmm. So basically, I started taking photos in July of 2020. Okay. First stranger session I ever did went viral, I think, August 26th, 27th, 28th, somewhere in that area Mm -hmm. of 2020. Um, And when that one went viral, I gained 30,000 followers overnight. Yeah, yeah. So it threw me into the photography world quickly. Um, and I can honestly say, looking back on my August 2020 work, you know, I was not, I would not consider myself a professional at that point. You know, I had just started, um, and actually before that stranger shoot, all of everything that I had done up until that stranger shoot was donation only work. Like I wasn't even charging people at the time. It was donation only work because, you know, I had just started and I didn't feel right, you know, charging people. So um, I was brand new, and it threw me to the wolves rather quickly. And then from there, I just kept learning and growing. And that's funny how you say that, though, because like you've told me multiple times, is like uh, you got you got to know your worth, know your worth, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like you've told me multiple times, actually. So like coming and like hearing that from you, like right now, I'm just like, so you, I know you went through like that whole like growth period yeah. yourself and stuff. Absolutely. So. Um, I know for me, like I did, um, I shot my, my first wedding I ever shot was 
um, I only charged two hundred dollars, and Me, it was a full day, same. as many photos. I thought at that time it was a lot, and it it, it just depends on like your clientele and stuff as well. But um, I look back at that, and I was I only had one camera, one lens. Yep. Um, I think I even brought one SD card. Yep. Like all these things that you're just like not prepared for and you look back and be like oh man something bad could have yeah. you just never know yeah. um i saw those photos the other day and i actually it was about six months ago i reached out to that same couple and i said hey fya if you want to do like a couple session i um i've gotten better and yeah. like i was like I, it'll be on the house and stuff like i want to like show you guys you know yeah. and, and stuff but uh they was like no no we loved it and stuff and mm -hmm. I think it's just coming in and having a good attitude with it kind of helped me a lot. But Yeah, and being very transparent. Yeah. You know, being transparent with people. Hey, my prices are very low because I'm so new. Yeah, they um, definitely knew that. <laughs> they definitely yeah. knew. I was still in college. Um, I was just, um, that's how they met me and stuff. We went to college together. and um, But now, like, my prices is, is, you know, almost 10 times as that. And I'm just like, it... It's like knowing your worth. Like I know how much more yes. time I'm putting into it. I know Absolutely. my equipment that I have, subscriptions to editing software. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I know for like weddings especially, like people talk about vendors and stuff. Like we're the, like one of the only vendors that work before, during, and after the wedding. Yeah. So it's something to consider as well. It's not so much that just you show up and you shoot. You're you're editing, you're looking at inspo, you're you're making sure you have a shot list, you're doing all the paperwork, the admin side behind it. Then afterwards is the editing and the printing and, and the, the galleries and it goes on. Oh, I, I always tell people that picking your wedding, wedding photographer should be the utmost priority and the number one thing because you are, not only are you picking a wedding photographer, you're picking basically a wedding coordinator. Um, yeah. I've... <laughs> Literally, I have fixed people's dresses. I mean, I have uh, one time I was getting ready. The wedding party was waiting to be announced. Mm -hmm. And I walked upstairs and one of the people, one of the uh, workers was getting ready to cut the cake, was getting ready to cut the cake to serve it when they hadn't even cut the cake yet. And he had taken off the layers. Yeah. And so I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. absolutely not. And I had to put the cake together, which included putting yeah. the fake flowers back on it. So, you know, when you hire a wedding photographer, that's what you're hiring. You're hiring a person that you know is going to get things done. Yeah. It's going to take care of things. I've, uh, I've, I've done some things like that uh, as well. I learned more about, because I think being a guy too is like, there's not very many guy wedding photographers just in our state um and the ones that are there they're very talented individuals but we there's just not very many here and um, i do photography and video at the same time so um it's usually me always in those um situations but like i've one of my biggest weaknesses is like um, fashion or like hair or makeup like i don't know what i'm doing in there so i'm just like just smile and right. I'll handle the rest and right. you look beautiful, like, yeah. which they always do and stuff. Yeah. But it's like, um, and I have a second shooter that comes with me all the time. Um, her name's Hannah. You know, you're actually the one that recommended me. I've shot with Hannah's her all, the best. all last Hannah. year. Um, and she, she's great because I can put her in a position like that and I can go hang out with the guys, get their shots mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I think it's very important just like kind of like chopping those things up and be like, okay, like this needs to be, that way you don't miss anything right. and stuff. And, but I've done that, but during a reception, like I bartended one time, I was just like, which I wasn't handing out drinks, but I was just handing out like Cokes and Pepsis and stuff. But like no one was back behind there to do it. Yeah. And you recognize these things and you want it to flow because the quicker people eat, the happier they would want to be because that's always uh, an issue too. And then you the can, timeline. yeah, yeah. Make sure you're on the timeline and mm -hmm. stuff. So. But uh, I've done that. I've, I've moved tables, chairs. Um, I booked one wedding because I moved chairs one time. Um, it was one of the, it was uh, a girl that she was working at the venue and she noticed like the, just the attention to detail. I was like, we just need to move this up because we're not going to have enough space. And she's like, I think I want you guys. And I was like, oh, well, okay. And stuff. And I was more focused on, like, she booked me before I even left that wedding. Like, right. 
And I'm just like, you never know when people are watching you. Mm -hmm. um, you never know um, like who your next employer is in a sense. And it's kind of like making sure that attention to detail is, is. Well, I think uh, another good example is, you know, Sierra that was in one of my stranger sessions. Mm -hmm. The first stranger session that you videoed for me. Yeah. She enjoyed your presence and being around you and how professional you were so much that she recommended you to yeah. her best friend. She's the maid of honor in that wedding, and her best friend booked you as the wedding. Planner. Yeah, she yeah. was. Uh, she she messaged me like four times that week, yeah. um, and I didn't know because the day that she picked, I didn't know at my old job if that was going to be a day that was going to be booked yet. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's going to be open. And she was like, yep, and she literally deposited right then and there and so she was like i want you and i was like okay yeah so i think that just goes to show you know how you are around people yeah. your personality your aura i always explain to people because i don't shoot weddings anymore mm -hmm. and so i always send all of my weddings to you and, and a handful of others and i always explain to people whenever i talk about you that your aura is like calming and positive and that's what people need on their wedding day like that's exactly what they need that's that's really funny that you say that because I don't feel like that inside at all like yeah. I feel like sometimes I'm yeah. just like going a mile a minute yeah. and but no I've always said that I've always said that you have like a calming personality and like you know I knew it like if you shot my wedding that you would take care of things yeah. and if I was having a bride yeah. freak out moment you'd be like it's okay yeah, yeah. you know like yeah. I already know I know yeah. that you'd be like we're gonna get this shot everything's fine we'll redo it if we have to you know that's yeah. that's the vibe that I get and so that's why I'm very confident when I recommend you to people because I know that you're going to take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I feel with when I recommend people too, as yeah. well. Um, cause there, there's so many different genres of like the, the types of photography, whether it's like newborn, um, engagement, wedding portraits. Um, some people just shoot high school seniors, you right. know, and, um, I try to not deal too much with anybody under the age of 18, to be honest, mm -hmm. just because I don't have a studio. Um, I don't have like a, it's just always me in like a natural light setting. And I just want to like focus on adults right, and stuff. Yeah. Um, but um, plus like newborn photography is a whole like. That's a I, whole other ball game. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, I, um, yeah. I, I'm honestly the same way. And I think it's good to kind of niche down. You know, and a prime example, I don't shoot weddings, so I send my weddings to you and a couple of others. Um, I also do not have a studio. So anytime that people want studio photos, Megan Nicole Photography, you know, where we are right now, I send them to her every single time. So, you know, it's good to, to have that, you know, especially in this community. And Megan's also one of our friends. We send people, we send clients to each other um, because we all have the same kind of work ethic and the same community aspect that we're not in competition with one another we're no, trying to no. help everybody um, succeed you know that's megan yeah. she shot our christmas photos for uh this this year because we'll book her again is for five years in a row and she knows my wife and i well enough that when i kind of give you like a little history about this podcast too we'll be using this studio and um, we'll be putting her business link in every single video that's associated with it. So she's kind of pretty much sponsoring this podcast. So yeah. huge shout out yeah. to uh, Megan for that. But I kind of like gave her that proposition and she was like, uh, yeah, like, you know, this day the studio is always open. You can go in, you can film. And then I, and I was like, well, I don't want to take away from your client clientele right. as well, you know, for people booking. She's like, no, at this day I always have off. So that's good because I can come in here and film. And we can kind of create more of that community aspect and just get out there. But um, I was super nervous just kind of like asking her to because you never know how other people are going to like react to their business. Right. And she was automatically was like, oh, no, I know like your mindset is in a good place. She's the best. Yeah, and she was like, yeah, go for it. Like, I think it's super cool. I can't wait to watch yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I even told her, I was like, do you have a logo or anything? And she was like, I don't have a logo. I don't have anything. I'm so behind. And I was yeah. like, no, no, you're killing it. I just want to make sure I plug you, like, um, you know, correctly and, and everything like that. So, but, um, yeah, she's great. Um, you know, mentioning other photographers, is there anybody, like, in the, st in the state of West Virginia that, like, gives you, like, ultimate ins inspiration and you're just like, or somebody that you always just kind of like follow and um just I, 
So there are quite a few photographers that I love their work. I admire their work. I recommend them. I might not have worked with them personally, but I've followed them for so long that they're photographers that I'm confident to recommend people to. Mm -hmm. um, I thoroughly enjoy Ethan Wet Photography. Yes. His work, exquisite. I love Sincerely Stacy, Stacy yeah. Parsley. Love her work. Um, I just recommended someone to her today, actually. Um, I love both of their styles are just so unique. I love it. Um, I also love Heck Productions, Hillary Kimmerer. She is so supportive and she's yeah. so helpful. She's another creative that, you know, is constantly rooting for others, which is important to me. Um, I'm trying to think of. Things. And it's funny because, like, all three of them, I know. I've worked with all three of these. Before. Really? Yeah. So like I've done a, a another YouTube video with uh, Ethan. Like he was uh, along with a uh, I did like um, six photographers one edit mm -hmm. the one that you oh, did yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So he was in that. Um, Stacy, I've been following her work for a long time. I've used her studio as well yes, a couple I have times. Too. Yep. Um, and then um, uh, Heck Produ Productions, I've second shot with her. Uh, last year for a wedding and stuff. So, like, we both kind of, like, but all of, yeah, those are all three really good ones. All three hopefully will be on the pod some mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. Um, Stacy actually, what I, I found her, she went through a phase about, like, a probably, like, two years ago. Like, s her stuff was, like, super artsy and creative and, like, out there. And she did, like, a shoot at, at a racetrack and this, like, whole, like, uh, I think it was, like, Coca-Cola jacket or something. But it's, like, I saw it and I was like, this is not like yeah. West Virginia type right. of, you know, like it, like it looked like something that was, you know, like LA or like yeah. it had like New York, like some type of urban vibe to it. And I was like, this is too cool. Yeah. And so, so she kills it. Um, Ethan has this amazing golden stuff that I took, I t have taken inspiration from and his stuff is so crisp and yeah. so like, um, I don't know, like very storytelling, moody. like moody. I like yeah. how moody his stuff is. Um, it's it's great. It's the tones. Yeah. I love the tones. Um, and like Hillary with Heck Productions, she's so creative. Mm -hmm. She has like amazing ideas. She comes up with you know these shoots that that also go viral. Mm -hmm. um, and you know I think that's that also is about who she is as a person. Um, you know, she's very outgoing and you know, that when you're, when you're like that, it puts you in spots, you know, to, to do things like that. So I've always admired her and, um, you know, and Megan, Nicole photography, Megan Hudnall, Megan was one of the first photographers that like kind of took me under her wing when I first started. Um, I messaged her about a location and she instantly yeah. told me where it was. She did not gatekeep, you yeah. know, when she could have been like, uh, actually I would rather not share that. She was not like that. She was like, this is where it is. I'll send you the pin, everything. Um, and so I, I've always admired her work. She's great. She's in the, you know, like I said, I send people her way well, a lot too. You also have to, you just have to have confidence in your work as well. And I, that's, I mess easier said than done, yeah. but, um, I, when I first started, especially when I came down here to Charleston area, I had that little bit of a mindset because I didn't have, I didn't connect with anybody yet. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, if I find a, one of the, my favorite places I've ever shot was actually down here in Taze Valley. Um, it was behind a Wendy's yep. and it was a field of golden flowers and everything. It's still one of my favorite shoes. I've shot with Brittany McMillan and mm -hmm. I've shot with her multiple times, but she's, she has this, uh, real bright blonde hair mm -hmm. and we like it was perfect mm -hmm. and P i tell people all the time i was like yeah that's like 30 feet from, from wendy's, wendy's. Like, like but now um a lot of people was like oh where's it at where's that they thought we went out of state and stuff i was like no that's just in down Texas valley mm -hmm. they couldn't believe it yeah. um and i that kind of clicked for me and i was like i don't need to do this like my i'm confident and and stuff and i feel like if they can go, they need to enjoy what I just felt when I captured one of my favorite right. shoes, you know? And Megan and, actually introduced me to that spot. Oh, she went, she shot there before? Yeah, me and Megan both have. Well, that's crazy. Yes. Well, they're building like a, an apartment complex yeah, it's, now. Yeah, it's shut so down it's, now. So, uh, uh, but there was a, mo there was a moment in time where I took a ton of pictures there. I, I did seniors that, yeah. there. Actually, Megan and I swapped sessions and took pictures of each other there one time <laughs> too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> There and there's not very many of those places located in the Charleston area that I know of uh, when it comes to field yeah, and fields are hard to find. When you're in like a rural West Virginia, anyway, like that's what people's go to mm -hmm. is golden hour fields, mm 
um, which is not a bad thing. Like, I mean, lighting, I mean, that's the majority of your shot anyway. So if you get good lighting, you just pretty much let them smile and right. go from there. But, I mean, because um, there's a lot of people that shot on, like, the Capitol Street uh, as well downtown. And I just, um, I just never could get into that like urban vibe now like i've shot like on top of like parking garages for like portraits and some things like that but um i kind of like i'm in, i'm really obsessed with like this western like nashville like vibe now i don't like i want to focus a lot this summer on that i don't know why but yeah. i'm just like i want to i want to go out west and shoot so bad yeah, so like i'm hoping i'm hoping things kind of like open up for that mm -hmm. but um it's hard though because in west virginia alone like you only have a few collars to work with. In the summertime, you got green, and in the wintertime, you got brown. And it's just like you got to pick and choose how you're going to edit and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. but, um, what well, do you have any questions for me or anything like that? Mm, so, what, let's see here. What is your, like, what's your plan? What's your goals for, for photography, videography? Where do you see yeah. yourself in five years? Ooh. I really want to get to a point where I can mentor beginners um and i can see that from yeah you, like i want sure. i want it was hard for me because i've been shooting for about uh about eight or nine years because i'm gonna include college as well um i the first five years actually yeah the first five years i didn't even shoot in raw I shot in jpeg and i didn't understand anything about my camera and i didn't understand how i could take a photo one day and then six months later take a photo and not get better but for me I was like okay I have to with anything you got practice yes. and repetition and I didn't have a mentor on that side um, until my senior year in college because I, I was a studio art major mm -hmm. I had a professor and I turned in a painting and he was like absolutely not you need to put more layers on it he said life's about layers you just mm -hmm. gotta take away like put more on take away put more on take away and then finally you're going to like sculpt something and he said you can use that with anything so I kind of took like that with that mindset into photography and then kind of put it like if I get a photo and I edit it I got like what else can I do to make it like pop you know sharpness can I take something out in the background that shouldn't be there right. can I you know fix their eyes can I fix their clothing their hair and stuff like that and then when you realize like those little things really matter to make a photo pop. And that's like the process. I'm just like, oh, that's really great. So if I could teach someone else that, and there's multiple ways you can do one thing too. Oh, yeah. But it's just like, if I can just like speed that process up for it, it's like, who knows who the next like artist you might be like influenced by, you know, and stuff. So. Yeah, I was very lucky and very thankful that, you know, I had a friend that I did shoot and roll from the beginning. But I was shooting on auto for a very okay. long time. You know what I mean? Like, I shot on auto for a long time. I'm not afraid to admit it. Um, and I remember the first shoot that I did on manual. And when I took those photos into Lightroom and, and was editing them, I saw such a big difference. Yeah. And I was like, this was scary, but I was so glad that I did it. Yeah. You know, stepping out of that comfort zone and putting it on manual and having to, you know, change everything myself. You know, it's, it's a lot to learn. And... You know, sometimes you just got to do it. Yeah, I, it blows my mind that I went that long because I was just like, and I had a good camera too. I mean, I had a nice beginner camera. It was a Nikon D3200 mm -hmm. and I've shot with Nikon, Canon and I shoot with Sony now, but I was just like, how did I, no one just told me. I didn't yeah. search for it. I didn't, it was, I don't know if it was like people like, that I was talking to just assumed or gatekeep that or something like, I don't, I don't know. Like, but now I do it. And when I, sh I've showed two people that where I've actually seen them like in their mind, like click and they're like, Oh my gosh, like that's incredible. And I was like, Ooh, that's, that's cool. Because that's just like a little piece of, you know, knowledge that they're going to take and they're just going to know and they'll be like stuff and Absolutely. Uh, go from there. But no, I want to, I definitely want to get to a point where I am, uh, comfortable full time, you know, and um, bringing out, you know, content creation to show West Virginia in a positive light. Um, I have a couple of side projects that I want to get involved in, just kind of like talk um, talk about um, like some Appalachian like short films that um, 
they have a film festival up in Clarksburg that they just started last year. I don't know. It's like Mountain Mountain something. I'll have to – I can't think of it right now. But uh, they just started it last year, and it's, like, so cool because they're bringing all these, like, videographers and filmmakers of just, like, storytelling. And they're all about, like, the Appalachian, like, story, the true Appalachian story, not, like, a negative mindset on it. And, uh, yeah, I want to get involved in that. Yeah, cool. um, and just, like, yeah, just create content and have good vibes and yeah. meet new people and go from there. But, Absolutely. yeah, but I still don't know. Like, I, everyone's like, oh, you want to, do you know what you want to do? But I'm just like, I'm, I still don't know what to do yeah, with my life. And keep just, going with the flow. And yeah, then, you know what I mean? Yeah. It'll, it'll fall in your lap. Yeah. So that's awesome. But, but yeah, um, Autumn, it has been amazing to talk to you and stuff. Uh, this is, I'm really glad that you chose to be like the first person to kind of like be an icebreaker for this because yeah. uh, it's like we're just kind of like just talking and having a good time. And I, I can like get a good knowledge of if it's like too long or too short right, yeah. and stuff. Well, but uh, I thank you for having me. This yeah, was fun. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are watching, make sure you follow Autumn. All of her links is going to be in the description below. Um, as mentioned, this podcast has been sponsored by Megan Nicole Photography. Her links is going to be uh, located below as well. So you guys have a great day. Stay safe and uh, stay hungry and uh, never stop creating.